Do you also find it difficult to find the right transponder for your application? You're not alone. My name is Mike Mühlhausen and I'm a product owner for RFID transponders in the Cimatic IDENT family and today I'll be showing you that there is light at the end of the tunnel. I've brought a few examples from our product portfolio with me. These range from simple to industrial smart labels and hard tags. Whether for high temperature requirements, metallic environments and various substrates, tamper-proof applications, ATEX areas, car washes or even smart city projects. You are guaranteed to find the ideal transponder in our wide-reaching portfolio. But how can you select the right transponder for your use case? After all, the sheer number of transponders is truly overwhelming. In reality, it's not that difficult if you can answer the following seven questions. Where do you want to install your transponder? This is about the dimensions and installation supports. How do you want to install the transponder and how long is it to remain on the support? In other words, do you want to glue, screw or maybe even rivet it? Will special adhesives be required, such as for low-energy plastics or washing processes? What information do you want to save on the transponder? This is to ensure that the right storage capacity is chosen. For this, not only the size of the serial number is important, but also whether the transponder needs a user memory and what information you want to leave on it. It might contain batch information or perhaps even important data for further processing, for instance. What range do you need for writing and reading the transponder? This refers to your process and should be carefully considered before making a selection. What are the environmental influences of your process? These might be moisture or the effects of very high temperatures, like in the metalworking industry, or even recurring and cyclical temperature profiles, like in paint plants for identifying paint product carriers. Does my transponder need special properties and certificates, such as ATEX for a safe use in explosive environments, temper resistance or UV, chemical and radiation resistance? And of course, we need to ask ourselves whether the transponder is to be used just once or more frequently, like for simple product identification or in a recurring process on shipping pallets, for instance. Once you have answered all of these questions, you're already well on the way to making your selection. So now we can move on to comparing the properties of the available transponders. This link will take you to the Siemens IDENT configuration guide. Here you will find lots of help and information, such as the memory size, temperature, protection class and range of each product. By selecting the Sematic RF family, you are taken directly to the right transponders for your system. In the column on the left, you can select the right combination of reader and antenna. The top line shows us the transponders offered and means we can easily see which type best fits our criteria. Once you have identified a suitable candidate, you can use the specified order number to find it in the industry mall and download the detailed datasheet or even trigger an order. If you still have questions or problems, you can contact our sales specialists at any time. And if you haven't found a suitable transponder, don't worry, we'll develop a customized one for you.